This is a quick demonstration on how to use the, the model in place command in Revit. I'm going to demonstrate modeling some trim around this window here. I've adjusted the section box to allow the to me allow me to maneuver around a little bit better so it's not as, as difficult with the full model in there. So I'll go to the architecture tab, select the drop down arrow for the components, and then click model in place. And for this, I usually like to try to pick a category that fits what I'm doing since I'm going to be doing trim on a window. I'm going to scroll down to Windows, select that, and then it'll ask me to name this. So I'm going to call this Side Window Trim. And then the first thing you're going to want to do is right up here it says Set Work Plane. You'll want to do that because that tells the computer where you're drawing whatever you're going to be drawing. And then I prefer using pick a plane. If you know exactly what level it's on, you can use the drop down menu. But a lot of times that's more confusing for me at least. So I'll do pick a plane, select OK. And then I'm going to select this back wall. So that's the plane that we're going to be drawing on top of. So now that that's selected, that's where we're going to be drawing. And then for this particular instance, I'm going to select a sweep. You can do a sweep, or another option could be, oops, sorry, or another option could be an extrusion. But I'm going to do a sweep for this one. So for a sweep, you have to create a path that is going to, that's going to be going around the entire window. So you can either sketch a path or pick a path. I'm going to pick a path. Now for this you want to be careful you select the right line because you can select the outside of the window or the inside. So I selected the one right next to the window. I'm going to zoom around a little bit, get these other two sides. Make sure I get the right ones there as well. It's a little messy. Okay, then you have the path selected. Now you can click finish and that finishes just the path. But before we finish this model, we have to draw in a profile for it. So you can edit the profile or select the profile. I'm going to click Edit Profile. And now it's focused in on this little crosshair here. And it's asking you, OK, what's the profile going to look like? And this is cut section. So I'll usually go to the side, use your little 3D cube, and it'll orient you the direction you need. And then I'll zoom in. And then you can draw this however you'd like it. So if you want a 7-inch piece of trim, draw it up 7 inches. I don't know, 3.5 inches out. This might be a little excessive, but it's just to demonstrate the point. And now you've drawn the profile. So this is the profile that's going to go around the entire path that you just created in the step before. So I'll click Select there. So now the profile has been edited. And then when you click this check mark, It'll then put it into a sweep. So now you have a sweep that's going around those windows. And that is how you use the sweep command in model in place.